I wanted to show a quick demo about using the new Chrome DevTools timeline frame mode uh, to identify an optimization that we can make uh, to make this faster. So I have this short demo where we scroll and um, we get this kind of effect. Uh, Paul Lewis uh, actually made this demo and we were talking about how we could make it better. And one of the things that I noticed is if I open up the DevTools uh, timeline and we go into frame mode, <clears throat> I'm just going to record. Um, I'm, we're using request animation frame here, but you'll see that uh, the the bars are almost full, completely full, um, and uh, and that's not good. <laughs> and this is just at rest. Um, the, so ideally, at rest, uh, there's not much script or rendering uh, uh, activity happening inside each frame. But here we have quite a bit. Um, and so looking inside each, uh, we can kind of use the the mouse wheel to kind of narrow down exactly what we want to see. Um, but we're looking at very big recalculation of styles. Uh, recalc style is taking 12 milliseconds, which is an extremely long time, um, and it shouldn't. Um, so looking into, in, into the source, we have uh, a few things going on. We're using, as I said, request animation frame. But um, this is really the only modification that's happening to the DOM. Uh, we're setting a class name on each mover and uh, if I scroll up there are a lot of movers so we are uh, looping through all of the movers and setting a class name on all of them either it's mover left or just mover and I was like maybe this manipulation where we're touching the DOM on all this um, is costly so uh, I figured we might want to try out class list so I'm just going to copy in class list, uh, a replacement for this bit using that. So instead of uh, mover class name mover left, we're just going to add and remove the left class. Um, so I'll save that, refresh, clear this, and start to record now. Ah, and there we go. So this is what we want to see. Um, these bars have a lot of more room for things to happen to, in them. Um, and the cool thing that we actually are able to identify is that when we use class list, it's more of an imperative API. And so essentially, the, the browser doesn't have to touch the DOM. Um, you are setting classes, but the, the browser is smart enough that it's not going to have to actually make a manipulation and then start to have to recalculate styles and see what's going on. Um, so class list is a, is a nice way instead of to, to use that instead of class name to uh, gain some performance out of the browser. So that's it.